I'm trying to like gather my thoughts here on what I can show you and how are things going so far. Here we go. Uh, we are going to have a vlog about a shop launch progress update. <laughs> may not. Um, on July 15th I made the official shop launch of my small business. I have started with 21 prints from my artworks of course and one teacher. So far I have sold four prints and one teacher which for the first month and um, like I say, we are starting from scratch. I like don't have a huge following. I have a constant social media presence. I try to be in my social media promoting the shop and my work. And so far, I think that for that context, five sales in one month, even though it's not huge or like, oh, you know, um, I, I still think it's great. I still think it's a good start. Again, I am doing this with my own website. I'm not using anything like Etsy where maybe I could have some extra traffic from their own platform. I'm not having that. It's solely due to me promoting my work on Instagram, on Twitter and here on YouTube. It's the only places that I am currently using for this. I think it's a good start. I don't know, I want to see it in a positive way and hope that it develops for the best, honestly. I am really happy that, that one t-shirt is, is actually sold because I, I really like how that design got done. Also, the quality of the t-shirt is like really good. I am doing them with Printful because I cannot like produce them on my own. So far, I'm using Printful and the quality of the fabric and the printing I have already used mine a lot and have washed it. It hasn't faded away. I mean, I'm like in, I'm like really surprised with how good the quality is of the t-shirt. So I'm really happy that one person already got one for herself. I wish that I could know if she actually likes it or not. I don't know her, like, but well, I really hope that she likes it and that the quality of her t-shirt is also good. That's so far. The prints have been sold to friends, which I am huge, huge, hugely thankful for their support. You know, they are like always the first people who support you when you start in these endeavors. There's like friends and family. And I hope that in the future, new people come and find my work and they like it because I really do it with the most love from my heart. I love to create and I, what I really hope is just that my work connects with others and that you guys liked it. what has happened since I launched, like I told you. 
I have some sales, I am monitoring the activity on my website, I have been, you know, keep tracking of my materials and solving problems. You already know about this, you solving problems here and there. First I have the paper problems and then I have the printer problems. You guys don't know about this one. I don't know why, but somehow in the last month, apparently the color profile that I was using to print directly from my Procreate file to my printer was removed from Adobe. This is the only explanation that I have found. So I had to hunt the internet down looking for, for a substitute profile, correct profile, to install on my Adobe Photoshop is where I made the prints from so that I can keep the fidelity of the colors on my prints because I believe that that's one of the most important things and the one thing that I cannot compromise or won't compromise from my work is the color. Luckily, I was able to find the substitute and use it and it works perfect. So for that, it was like problems and solution found. But yeah, that was one of the things that I had to deal with in this month. But now, because as I said in previous videos, I was trying to start with what I already had. And while I am still creating new art, like for prints or not, and I'm still always making art, I do want to make other products to incorporate them in my shop. Like for instance, stickers. I'm going with the basics right now. Like I already have prints, now I'm gonna have stickers. So I have been working on these designs. I already have another one here, my iPad. Let me show you. I'm working on this one. It's going to also be a sticker. I put them color backgrounds because I want to see how they look for possible mini prints or postcards like always trying to make the most of the work so but yeah these are so far like the three concepts i am working on of course i have like let me show you like a huge list of ideas I have a list of all the things that i want to make but yeah so far i have been juggling between making these designs and making the concepts for the stickers testing so the last thing thing that i was doing yesterday was actually testing the sizes like this could be one size and i was wanting to like see if maybe it was too little for the amount of details that i know the illustration have or not also if i wanted to add text or if i just like it alone because initially i have had, i have thought for them to have this text with them but i believe that they actually can work alone too maybe it's even better i'm not sure i haven't made that decision yet so i'm like letting it sink and see see how it goes from there and then what i have been working today all morning has been on the rebranding of my shop i didn't have any actual brand like for for the shop or for myself i did i do not have business cards or anything and my website is actually a very simple template from wix that i sort of customize but not that much so i am actually working on making something more related to me and to the aesthetics that I want to work with or that I feel represents me and my work. And I have been working for a couple of weeks now on, the, on this because like I juggle between illustration and you know doing the shop stuff and I kind of like you know spread all those tasks across time and I made like little progress little by little because like there's no hurry <laughs> i am not in a against the clock with this or anything so i wanted to make it right and i am taking my time for it i still think that i can show you a little sneak peek of what i am doing and what i want to do in the future this will also include include uh, not only the branding and packaging redesign it will include of course a uh, website redesign so it will be massive when that happens, but it's still not for now. 
it's just, just a fun thing for the future. Here you can see I have the, like this list of the things that I wanted to do and I have already crossed the things that I have been able to finish. This is a quick sneak peek of some of the things that I am working with. These are the tasks that I want to still complete this week. This was the weeks before. It's been a busy month so far. I have more stuff, more more stuff done, I promise. Um, I just don't want to show you because you know I don't want to reveal it, reveal them ahead of their time. So yeah, so far I have already my my final logo designed. The rest is like you know business cards and some stickers for the packaging. But this will not be the only thing that will be there. So yeah, that's a surprise for the future. I really I, I would love to like have this all like done completely by now and like stacked you know putting it in my products because I really like this kind of stuff like the details and stuff in the packaging and it's, it's something that I love when I get my own when I buy art or when I get I don't know anything and so it's something that I, I really want to in, to add you know to my products and to my packaging because I think that's something that you might like to. So yeah, that's something that I have been doing between times. remember but the last time when I was like telling you the envelopes that I was using to ship my prints I did show you that I was that I had customized my small envelope and uh, with the do not bend and a stamp on the back with my name and with my return address so that I don't have to like write it by hand but I had the problem that the bigger envelopes do not fit into my printer tray, so I could not print on them. But I thought, I cannot print on them and I don't have, I cannot buy right now a, a custom ink stamp, which is will be one of the ideal solutions. I'm doing this because I haven't done it myself, but I have watched other artists in their packaging videos and the part where they have to like be stamping all of the envelopes it seems pretty exhaustive on to be honest still i haven't done myself so i i i cannot really speak from experience but what i did do in order to kind of solve that and still be able to customize a little bit more the envelopes especially the big ones was that I got clear sticker paper, like you can see here, see? And so I printed, I printed my please do not bend and I made it a sticker basically. So I have this, I can now paste it in the envelope and it will look cute and you know, it, it won't be noticed because the sticker is clear. So in case that you are wondering how you can do it, this is a cheap solution. Maybe a temporary, I don't know, maybe it's a more permanent solution. I am actually, I have a new design for the Please Do Not Bend that I, I am truly liking right now. And I am also deciding if I want to still make more stickers out of it or if then actually made the stamp. 
again I am I am not sure about this but this for now this was a good solution and well the, the other was like same on this line like get you know normal sticker paper like matte sticker paper where you can print your return address or the sender's address that you are like shipping to and so you don't have to write stuff by hand because if you are like me and you have terrible handwriting yeah that won't look pretty <laughs> so there you have a tip from me avoiding to write by hand in an envelope just so that it doesn't look ugly <laughs> So yesterday, like, I, like you know, I'm working on the new products for my shop. I am starting with making stickers because it's something I don't have. Initially, I will have to put them by hand, but since I am not having like a huge demand or anything, I'm guessing that it will be fine for a start. So I was, I think that I already showed you some of the designs that I have. But then I decided to also start working on a couple of Halloween designs or Halloween ideas. And so I made this little plan here about the things I want to do uh, and the amounts and some topics, ideas that were not related or that are like alternate topics. Like here's sketch they're going to be like things that I know of and like about this time of the year get called wrong there <clears throat> I am just right now juggling some ideas and sketching concepts I have nothing really like set in stone so far I hope that I can get it all done like finish illustrated and maybe make some some samples by September so that you can have the shop update live and you can order stuff and if you order the Halloween related things you can have them before October begins I don't know the fall season is always such a cute season by itself like the colors and the cozy weather the tea vibes I don't know I, I really like that season, even though my favorite is actually Christmas. But the, the autumn season, the fall season, and Halloween, all that spooky stuff, that's also my vibe. I'm a mix of a lot of stuff like, I mean, like any other person. I'm enjoying working on these things because they are things that I truly enjoy. They are in my corner, things that I like, uh, topics that I'm interested in on showing my work or seeing my work in. And I hope that you liked it. I hope that I can show you more in the next upcoming weeks. Maybe I will continue making these vlogs about the shop update preparations and making because I mean like it's kind of the point of this like me sharing like what I'm doing and you learning from my mistakes or learning from my rights. <laughs> so yeah, I will be showing you more in the future. for now it's been a very productive week and i really hope that you have enjoyed this vlog and that you have found it interesting remember to leave it a like and if you have any questions please leave it in the comments i am more than happy to answer you and yeah see you in the next one bye bye